Well, he was the shortest. He was chunky. He was well fed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> he was a little pudgy ginger. <laughs> he was playing t-ball when we were in those apartments. Everybody would scoot in because he was so short, you know? And the coaches would tell him to scoot in. And Cole would just launch it. It's gone, you know? And I remember hitting a ball, t-ball, crush this ball. And there, I was on a co-ed team. So I had this girl in front of me and she was really, she was slower than me. And I hit this ball and she's running around the base and kind of like stops at second. And I just kept going. I was like, this is a home run over everybody and just kept running. And I, I scored and I got back and I remember the coach telling me like, hey, you can't pass the runner on base. And I was like, well, why? Like she stopped this second, I'm gonna go. You know, that's where it kind of started and you start learning and, and figuring out how to play this game. And they go, well, we got a coach that wants him on their team. And they said they got a coach that wants them him on their team. I'm like, okay, you know, well, who's that? Well, then they introduced me to this short little Mexican lady named Maria. I was very, very skeptical, you know. Nothing against women at all, but, you know, I never knew a girl that knew baseball until I met Maria. Maria came from a, a softball background, and, and we, played, we played with her son, too, was on the team. And she was just a really, really tough baseball woman, okay, and, and knew what she was talking about. I'll, I'll uh, never forget this one practice we had. We were playing like a like a two like team thing. Okay, we got like ten people, ten kids on the team, so it's five on five. We're playing this little game, and I think my team ended up losing. And I was so I was so upset. I was like I I wanted to win, right? And kind of sh probably showed it the wrong way. And Maria and my dad sat me down, and they were like, "Listen, you're a leader on this team. So when you show that when you show that frustration." like that reflects back on your team and they will feed off that energy, you know? So you gotta stay positive, you gotta pump them up. It was the first real talk that I had about being a leader and leading by example. And it, it kinda changed everything. And gosh, I was like 11 at the time, but I never, I didn't, I didn't know, you know? I didn't really figure out. And it was, it was her that was like, kinda pushed me to really be a leader, not just go out and play, but now, to make your team better around you, you know? And at, at the time, like I said, I was a kid, but I didn't think like that, you know? And it wasn't until her that it was like, oh, okay, now I can lead by example and go out and play hard and, and try to get somebody to play hard with me. That's a, that's a pretty powerful message. And that came from her, it came from her and my dad and that I won't ever forget it. Make sure you log on to foxsportswest.com or youtube.com backslash Fox Sports West every Monday for a new episode of Cole Calhoun Spotlight.